Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I will do a review on this Bugatti scooter. I have some questions about it asked and I'll try to answer them in this video as well. So this scooter I got from Casca for about $920 plus tax and they sold for about $1200 on the website and it comes in Casca only black color. On the website they have like a few different colors. I think it's silver blue and black some of them might be sold out but again i'll give you my experience and also my opinion about this scooter and you guys decide if you want to buy one or not uh, this scooter is uh, unique because it has bugatti uh, logo like um, about five different places placed and that's why it cost that much um, Typically this type of scooter would cost you like about $500 So because of this uh, branding you pay e extra So let me show you more about the scooter and tell you what I like and uh, what I don't like and Before doing that, please hit subscribe and if you like this video hit the like button below That will help with algorithm for other people to see this video. Thank you so first I want to show you how the display works on the sun. So I'm right now uh, at the park. The sun is very bright. I will turn it on and you'll see if you can see anything. Basically on the sun you will not be really see any much of your speed or anything what's going on. It's very hard to see. That's something I want to share with you. The light, if it's useful maybe i never use them actually because during the daytime nobody really sees them but also when you're riding if you don't get used to it will take forever to get used to this and also it's not really comfortable to switch because when you're holding it your thumb need to go all the way here which create kind of also unstability and it's not as easy to switch gonna be uh, while you're riding without looking unless you memorize which one is top which one is button which is not bad options but i pretty sure most of the riders will not use this because it takes time to learn but you can actually see it not from the distance much but you can see it also the light on the side it's very nice but you cannot really see once it's uh, behind but my so, concern is if you drop your scooter and most likely you'll drop the next day when you buy it this piece is plastic easily will break down and i'm not sure how to easy to replace them okay that's my concern so the scooter looks pretty sleek and not as large as other scooters you will see and uh, it comes with a big Bugatti logo over here also at night you'll be able to see monogram uh, projection coming from here when you turn on the light uh, it does looks really slick and uh, not as large as other scooters you might see and um, design it's uh, pretty much very simple there's not nothing like fancy catching the eyes at daytime but at night the light will turn on and it will be really cool so easy to fold just drop the handlebar attached to this latch on the bottom that's it you can put in trunk easy portable and it's not heavy it's like 35 pounds as the box came really heavy because the box packaging really good and it's a uh, weight actually as much as uh, the scooter is but i don't blame they made a very nice presentation it's easy to secure you can um, lock through these holes and attach to the uh, same to the station where you park your bicycles or to the tree or anywhere so it's pretty much uh, you can secure the scooter with a lock for the bicycle so it should be no problem to secure it my concern about this uh, the design of this um, wheels are only nine inch and they are uh, made from a very hard um, uh, material so it's a hard rubber so when you're riding on a street it feels every bump and if you're riding over 12 miles per hour on the street it's very easy 
to hit anything and lose control mostly at night so I would not recommend to ride it at night because even you had the headlight which is only like 90 lumens which is not as bright but it's uh, actually actually it's a basic uh, light as uh, any basic bicycle will use so it's pretty cool but it will just give people to know that you are coming because they will see the light from front and also from the rear I notice when the battery low the light will not turn on about the mileage on the scooter distance I weighed about 215 pounds and I rode uh, with many stops as I recorded the video before and I only made about 8 miles on it before the low bar start to blink and the light stop working uh, many people ask me about uh, if you can switch uh, miles to kilometers or kilometers to miles display you can't it's preset for USA market only miles for Europe it's only kilometers so that's how it will be and you cannot switch it's a cool scooter to ride about few miles uh, if you are looking for a commuter like for more than two three miles your feet will tie it very quickly because uh, of the wheels very hard the rubber uh, tires are very hard and very hard to ride long distance because you will feel every uneven surface and if you hit something at the highest speed you might fall easily mostly at night I did uh, attach some water bottle over here you, you just need to it's uh, I'll put link in description uh, I will also post link in description to Hamlet I wear which are good up to 28 miles if you planning to ride it faster so it's good to get good Hamlet most people ride without and I think it's very dangerous because uh, it's very easy to fall on this type of scooter as well even if it's only up to 18 miles uh, it's still easy to fall and if you people ask me if you can climb the hills on this scooter probably not depend on your weight it's designed for flat surface to ride it does not have a big motor it's only 300 watt motor and uh, they advertise at 600 so it's a maximum watt peak hour 600 what does it mean it means that if you fully charge the battery and ride it with the next mile it will pick up up to 600 watt power but not continuous the continuous power is about 300 that's what it is and it's a just basic most of the scooter right now they comes 300 or above so this type of scooter will cost you about 500 dollars about customer service also my experience so after first uh, video recording the next day you know i lost this one i just so it was missing as a cup it's not a big deal i have it still over here the cup over here but the other one was missing so i decided to write to bugatti customer service because they have only email there's no phone number because uh, it's not really bugatti it's made by bytech they are the one who gonna uh, give you the warranty and the warranty only three months if you buy from them directly if you buy at Costco you can return at any time that's a good plus uh, so I contact them and say hey do you guys sell them or can replace this plastic like the rubber piece I lost it what can we do and it took them about three weeks to email me back I thought they never got my email but they emailed me back actually three weeks later telling they're gonna send me one and I think it's coming today it's been only like four weeks now so it's uh, I guess they are helping you but not sure if it's just because they just start to sell them it's gonna be kind of slow or they are just hard to respond it takes like three weeks to respond it's kind of too long for customer service another thing I want to show you when time comes to fold it you just bring it up you fold it and I want to warn you to be very careful when you fold it this piece it's very sharp and it's dangerous I already cut my finger when I fold it try to put in a car accidentally cut my finger other than that it's so easy to open back and it's uh, pretty cool it's very simple you just 
pull it up I do it with one hand and click and it's all set to right so um, if you're looking for let's say scooter to go to the beach and ride it on the beach or maybe ride to the college anywhere you want like with the next few miles three miles four miles it should be okay but if you're looking for a longer distance like five miles ten miles right non-stop the battery might not last long also your feet will be killed because it's a vibration there's no suspension the tires are very hard it's uh, if you want good comfortable scooter i'll put a link in description you can get one but this one is not good for longer distance uh, commute like more than two three miles and uh, i got only eight miles on one charge that's about it so if you are more heavy than me this scooter are good up to 240 pounds so if you're heavy like 240 it might even less if you're lighter you might get better mileage also it depends how many stops you make and you cannot really stand on this part so you're not supposed to stand on this part that's why the deck is kind of small and slim it looks cool but your feet like, like I, I said before my size 13 only feet when you put them to the side like this under angle but if you want to put two feet next to each other you can do it but it will be not as stable as well and only one person can ride i said to ride with my kid but there's not much space for the kid and if they're short they might hit this piece with the face so it's kind of not safe and that's about it it does have a throttle over here thumb throttle which is nice small bell over here front brakes which is uh, working pretty well for the speed it rides front brakes and then it's, it's uh, electric brakes on the bottom it's i'm not sure if it really works but when you brake i feel it stops pretty well um, my concern was before but if you're riding up to 50 miles per hour i think it's fine also if you brake faster you might just fall i'm not sure how hard or easy to replace the tires uh, it might be very challenging and uh, i'm not sure what bugatti have in place to replace them and how you're gonna replace it it's um might be very difficult to replace them and to find which will fit to this and also they only give you three months warranty versus to many bikes give you one year and you have any problem with them after three months you probably cannot really fix it because they don't really sell the parts i don't see any parts for that and if you break something you're out of luck most likely and that's about it um, i give you all my information what do i think about this scooter i think it's cool it's a really like um, looking slim scooter i guess not for everyone only for people who understand that this scooter is more like designer scooter like uh, when you buy an expensive bag or something it's not made as of good quality as you can see like parts are fall off easily also easy to break it and it's just uh, like a toy i would say it's not a really great commuter more than two three miles which is sometimes it's good someone but again uh with a lager bugatti it's most likely will be stolen easily even you put a lock underneath the lock it's easy to cut usually right now in California I would not leave it alone and many states as well right now because the scooter is cost only like nine hundred dollars. It might be stolen easily even at college or whatever, so is that something you need to consider as well? There is no app to the scooter, you cannot really manage any alert or alarm. I don't see any place where you can place any air tags on it. Maybe you can open and put one. Also it made in China. Many people ask me if it's Italian made or as a country no it's uh, made by bite tech and it's made in china underneath there is a made in china sign and uh, it's a cool scooter you guys decide if you like it again please hit subscribe and like this video if you like this hamlet check the description again see you later in the next video thank you for watching bye